What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am giving you guys five fragrances that are perfect for going out. If you're going out to a party, a date night, a wedding, a family event, anything, these five fragrances are going to be perfect for that. Let's get into it. Coming in at number five, Missoni Parfum Pour Homme. Off the top, you get grapefruit, lemon, and lavender. In the mid, you get ginger, apple, and jasmine. In the base, you get birch, oak, musk, sandalwood, and patchouli. So very citrusy fresh in the opening from all the citrus. You get a big dose of this aromatic freshness as well from the lavender. As it dries down, it is still very fresh, but you kind of pick up a little bit of this fruity sweetness. You pick up a little dose of jasmine as well, not a huge amount though. And then in the base, you get a blast of woods, very woody. You also get this nice smoky feel as well with the musk. This one does smell very similar to Blue de Chanel, but in my opinion, I do think this is the better fragrance. That smoky, woody muskiness in the base definitely just gives it more of a unique feel. Performance is solid, seven to eight hours of performance with this stuff right here. Big compliment getter as well. Women really love the way this one smells. It has like this sexiness to it for being a fresher fragrance. Coming in at number five, Missoni Parfum Pour Homme. Coming in at number four, Versace Dylan Blue. Off the top, you get bergamot, watery notes, grapefruit, and fig leaf. In the mid, you get Ambroxan, black pepper, patchouli, papyrus, and violet leaf. And in the base, you get incense, musk, tonka bean, and saffron. So off the top, very citrusy and fresh. A little bit of aquaticness as well. Not a huge dose, but just a tad. As it dries down, you do pick up a big dose of Ambroxan, which gives it this nice clean shower gel kind of a feel. That black pepper kicks in as well, giving it a nice spiciness. I get a little bit of patchouli, not too much. And as it dries down, you pick up a lot of smoky incense combining with the tonka bean, which kind of has like this vanilla sweetness to it. A little musky. You do pick up the saffron just a little bit, so it has this nice kind of warm spice in the base. This one does smell kind of similar to Dior Sauvage. doesn't smell the exact same, but it's still in the same ballpark. So if you want something that smells sort of similar to Dior Sauvage, but you want to spend less money, this is a great option to go with because this is half the price of Dior Sauvage. Nine plus hours of performance. This thing is a beast on my skin. Really solid stuff right here. Check this one out, guys. Coming in at number four, Versace Dylan Blue. Coming in at number three, Rasasi Hawass. Off the top, you get apple, lemon, bergamot, and cinnamon. In the mid, you get watery notes, plum, cardamom, and orange blossom. And in the base, you get ambergris, musk, patchouli, and driftwood. Very citrusy, fresh on the top. It has this sort of aquatic feel as well, but this has a big dose of this bubblegum sweetness, which I think comes from the plum note because plum is very fruity and sweet. And as it dries down, you do pick up a little bit of woodiness along with that muskiness as well. This one screams the summertime. This is a killer for those high heat situations. Performance is really solid. Nine plus hours of performance. Another one, huge compliment getter. Women love the way this one smells. Coming in at number three, Rasasi Hawass. Coming in at number two, Carolina Herrera Bad Boy Cobalt. Off the top, you get lavender and pink pepper. In the mid, you get plum and geranium. And in the base, you get vetiver, truffle, cedar, and oak. So off the top, very fresh citrusy. Has this aromatic feel as well. But as it dries down, the star of this fragrance is the plum note. Very fruity, sweet, it smells really nice, and it combines with the geranium, which gives it a little bit of freshness as well. And as it dries down, you get a huge dose of woodiness. Has a little bit of a smoky feel as well. There's the note of truffle, but I don't pick it up at all. I mean, to be honest, I'm not too sure what truffle would even smell like. I'm pretty sure it's just like a dirty mushroom. I'm not too... <laughs> I'm not too sure why they would put truffle in the base. I think it's kind of a gimmick, but this stuff smells absolutely incredible. My favorite blue fragrance in my collection. Huge head turner. Performance is really, really good. 10 plus hours of performance with this one right here. Coming in at number two, Carolina Herrera, Bad Boy Cobalt. Coming in at number one, Dior Sauvage Elixir. Off the top, you get nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, and grapefruit. In the mid, you get lavender. And in the base, you get licorice, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, and vetiver. So off the top, it is very warm and spicy. You do pick up a little bit of freshness from the grapefruit. Not a ton, though. And then as it dries down, the lavender it plays a huge role in this fragrance right here. As it dries down, it becomes very fresh, aromatic. And in the base, it becomes very woody. I don't pick up a lot of licorice. There may be just like this little hint of it. There's a little bit of smokiness. The patchouli kind of gives it this dark earthy feel. 
along with the amber, which gives it a slight sweetness, but it still remains very fresh in the dry down. This one's pretty interesting because it is very warm and spicy on the top, but as it dries down, it becomes a very fresh fragrance. I would definitely recommend spending a little time with this one before you buy it because the opening can be deceiving. Another one smells incredible. This is like the go-to going out fragrance for me. If I have a special occasion and I just want to stand out, fantastic option right here. Performance is insane. 12 plus hours of performance. The quality in here is amazing as well. It smells very high quality, very luxurious. Coming in at number one, Dior Sauvage Elixir. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace.